click the start button all right and then you're gonna click on where it says settings so click start and then click on settings all right so now you're gonna click on where it says network and internet and then on the left side at the left side you're gonna click on where it says proxy all right so now this is what you should look for where it says manual proxy setup okay and so where it says use a proxy server right here click this to turn this feature off so doing this will turn off the proxy server as you can see for some reason i'm using this weird address and this is what causing the errors it cannot connect this address so now turn this off and here you go the proxy server is not off so now let us test the internet to see if it is working now okay so now i'm going to open microsoft edge which is basically the microsoft new version of internet explorer on windows 10. so i'm going to open microsoft edge okay and i'm going as you can see it's already working the home page but now let me test google.com out go to google.com and then website and here you go it is working just fine and if i do a random google search let me type google and as you can see here too it is working just fine so this should fix your problem okay so now what if for some reason you can access access a setting or it's just not working for you well here's another way to fix this here's a second way to fix this issue another way you can fix this issue is by using the system restore tool so what exactly is the system restore tool well the system restore tool what it does is that it, al it allows you to restore your computer back to an earlier date okay so now say that this problem started for you today and two days ago you did not have this problem so you can use the, sy the system restore tool to restore back to two days ago before the problem started okay and so it's completely safe it does not remove your files so completely safe to use system restore tool so now to use that tool you're gonna go right here to the bottom left corner of the screen now go right there except this time you're going to right click you're going to right click the bottom left corner of the screen and then you're going to click on where it says run okay click on where it says run so now right here you are going to type this rstrui.exe rstrui.exe here it is okay and if you can memorize it all of these instructions will be in the video description so you can copy it from there and paste it here so click ok or press enter and then as you can see here is the system restore tool all right so now click next and so now right here you can choose a date make sure you choose a date before the problem started so click next and then click finish to start the system restore which will take around 20 minutes and so this should fix your problem okay so now what if this is not working for you so far so far both of these methods we just learned are not working for you what if it's not working for you well in that case here you can do is a factory reset basically what a factory reset does is that it restores your computer back to the way it was when you first bought it so a factory reset basically makes your computer brand new it makes you have a fresh start and so this should definitely fix your issue if nothing else is working this should definitely fix your issue 99 percent chance that it will fix your issue here all right so to do a factory reset you're gonna go right here to the bottom left corner of the screen again to the bottom left corner right here and then you're gonna click where it says settings click on settings okay click on settings and now you're gonna click on where it says update and security and then you're gonna click on where it says recovery all right and, and so you should see this option that says reset this pc it says as you can see if your pc isn't running well resetting it might help this lets you choose to keep your files or remove them and then reinstall windows so a fresh start and so this should fix your problem 